talk to you today about how people are so blind to themselves. Don't they realize how nasty they're being? Don't they realize how unpleasant and curt? And people really don't. Like sometimes you'll call people on something like, why are you raising your voice? And they'll say, I'm not raising my voice. Why are you telling me I'm screaming? I'm not screaming. Or you'll tell them you were really mean to me. And they will say, well, what do you expect? You acted like such an idiot. People really do talk to each other that way. And the question is why and how can they get to see how nasty and unpleasant they're being? Well, the path to that vision and self-understanding is to recognize your own feelings. And believe me, it sounds so easy, but it's not. It's hard because people's minds are busy beating themselves up how to be better, how to be more effective, how to get out of bed and what to wear. We get so out of touch with our bodies. Maybe that we're tired. Maybe that we're overly frustrated or disappointed. We really self negate a lot of that in favor of being hard on ourselves. We take a lot of responsibility for things that go wrong in life so that we can feel in control. So that makes us grumpy. And when people are grumpy, they're kind of out of sorts and they're out of touch with uh, the fact that they really need food or rest or water or quiet and that they can't have a conversation. And instead, they try to be better. They try to serve their family. They try to work a little bit harder. They try to be a better parent. Uh, they try to uh, whip themselves into shape and that's the conflict. So when you see someone who's out of sorts and they're being really nasty and mean, you've got to know where that comes from. It's a form of denial of self, inability to see yourself. When you can finally see yourself and appreciate what you're going through, you can make decisions that are in your best interest. Bye.